swing early on. And it's Carl Mills' strength. Loves to pitch the ball up and swing it early with the new ball. Shot. Hamilton Masakata. Six runs over his head. So uh, there's his first taste of 2020 cricket. It's gone again. This one's in the air. There's a chance here. And uh, Nathan McCullum, we said they were a good fielding unit. Masakadza losing his shape. And uh, Nathan McCullum taking uh, a pretty easy catch. Pull, and he's got enough on that. We saw Vusi Sabanda get out a couple of times to that shot. Nice and straight. Good shot from uh, Chibaba. Good shot down the ground. The ball's still uh, nice and new, so pretty hard. Outfield's quick. Four more, Chamu Chibaba. Good shot. Boundary ends the over. Eight from it. Just the wicket for New Zealand. 18 for one. In the air. And uh, Taylor getting enough on it to get it over mid-off. It's probably his problem, Bracewell. Maybe just not quick enough. Oh, with, and he's edged it. And Brennan McCullum, after a little bit of a fumble, holds on to it. So again, we said no foot movement from Chamu Chibaba. Yeah. That's short, and that's down the leg side. The fine leg fielder is up in the circle, and that will go four more to Foster Mtizwa. That's short. That's why that's hit hard by Brendan Taylor. James Franklin cannot get round to stop that one. Four more. Ah! This time a quick single taken. Foster Mutiswa is out of his ground and well, the umpire took ages to give him out. Cat. And that's a big shot there from Brendan Taylor. He hasn't got all of it, but he's found the gap in the car region and he picks up a boundary. Big shot, full toss. He's got all of that. Half a dozen, Malcolm Waller. Good shot. Ball's left. He's gone again. This one's in the air. It's a fielder back there. And easy catch. Zimbabwe throwing their wickets away. Not a good shot by Waller. Between that gap. Here's a good shot. Taylor down the ground. Not trying to overhead it. And that'll find the boundary. It's a quick outfield. The outfield's hard, so it bounces yet. Four more to Taylor. Can go a long way. Oh, and that's going to work as well for Zimbabwe. Very unlucky. Nice and full again. And the fielder won't stop that. Jesse Ryder, the man uh, fielding at 45, stumps Woodcock. Catch it. Shot from Taylor. And Brendan Taylor on this occasion. He's found the gap. So much needed boundary for Zimbabwe. Ends the over. 11 from it. 15 gone. 96 for four. Catch it. Charles Coventry's gone for the big hit first up. He hasn't got all of it. The captain Ross Taylor is easily under that and takes it. It's a big wicket for New Zealand. He's a dangerous hitter. This time he's missed the length and he's paid the price for it. Elton Chikumura straight down the ground, straight over the bowler's head. And that's more like it for Zimbabwe. This time Law Futos and Ross Taylor is under it. He's not going to make a mistake and he takes a clean catch. So that's the end of Elton Chigumbura, looking to, to go big. There was no option, he had to go for it. It's a big shot, has he got an edge? Yes, he has, he's walking, he's walking. Well, Regis Chikava didn't wait for the umpire. It's the first full delivery of his ball, but he's executed well, straight to the fielder. And good running. Putting the fielder under pressure from Prosper Tseya. Keeps Brendan on Taylor on, on strike and he brings up his 50. That's his 50, Brendan Taylor. He's 30, 20, 50. Down the ground, straight to the man and... He's been run out, Prosper Tseya, at the non-striker's end. He was looking to get a single at least. Good piece of fielding from Jacob Bora and brings about the end to a very good outing for the New Zealand team in the field. And a no ball to start from Kyle Jarvis. Look like it. Well, we talked about people not being able to strike the ball cleanly, but this does not apply to Brendan McCallum, obviously, because first ball from Kyle Jarvis is whilst on the wicket. No one back on the leg side. 
drifting onto the pads and Brendan McCullum easily puts that away for four. And that's a good shot there by Brendan McCullum. Well, we thought the pitch was slow and holding up, but he's proving us wrong. And Price continuing, big shot, Guptill. And as they say in cricket, save your legs. That's gone up to the first level of the hospitality boxes. Big shot in the air, but uh, hit square enough. And that's hit uh, the boundary rope. So the umpire will signal six. Six in the air and uh, over the top of cover. So one boundary on the leg side and now going extra cover. Again, he's come down the ground and uh, Charles Coventry, sweeper on the offside, had no chance. Great over for New Zealand, 16 from it, nine gone. 69 without loss, six. Big again, he's gone long, while he's out there, should catch it. Oh, can you believe it? They really don't help their cause, Zimbabwe. This happened. And that is a good cricket shot there from Brendan McCullum. He's showing a bit of his class here. Well, he loves that area. He's gone inside out, over extra cover. He's found the gap, fielder coming around. He pick up another couple of runs. And 50 to Brendan McCullum. Entertainment indeed. 51 of 37 balls, just what New Zealand needed. Full on leg stump. Malcolm Waller can't get up and that's gone for six. He is a beautiful striker of the ball. Yeah. And Martin Guptill is going to join in the fun. First ball from Chamuchibaba. And he smashed it down the ground. And he's gone for the big shot again and he's found the gap. And it's six more. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, he's gone for it again and he's cleared the boundary again. Uh, yeah, <coughs> third man. There's a big shot, Guptill. And uh, that's gone a long, long way back. So uh, he doesn't want to be left out. Do it. He's come down the ground, bang! And that's another six. So you asked if McCullum would like to end it quickly. Yes, he would. And uh, 81 nut out, Brendan McCullum. And uh, the crowd tell the story. They're not happy. Zimbabwe have been totally outplayed here. New Zealand win by 10 wickets.